Hello everybody, I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and no I didn't. I had... 27 more to go. Uh... Once I got down to one shell equaling a 1% chance, I decided it was no longer worth it, even though technically you know, the one shell is better for my probability. I'm like, no, I'd like to speed this up. It has been three hours. And I rolled two 50-50 chances, successfully got a new one both times, and this dude is telling me that's the last figurine in the machine. He'll make bo he'll make more come back again, but but six of them. I knew six of them were only available post game, but you're telling me that the twenty seven I'm missing, he's just not going to have until later. Why did I do this? Why? I... I mean... Now what? I... I guess I just go back to playing the game and not thinking about the huge amount of figurines I don't have. Um... Uh, north... North of here, north and uh, map, yeah, just dead north. Okay, there must be a way around somewhere. Oh, I can uh, send myself up that. Haven't I done that already, though? Oh well. Yeah, this just activated the switch to activate the bridge. But that's all that was. Oh, swimming. I forgot I can swim now. That does nothing here, apparently. What was the point? Uh, is there a way down to the beach? Around here? Oh. I can just jump off. That's an option. Hello, piece of art. <laughs> and I didn't even have to spend four hours on that one. Three hours, sorry. But also, I can push this block now. I only need three of me, which I have. And now, up this ladder. And this is my way north. Great. Um, hmm. Royal Valley? <laughs> so, what do you think, Link? Pretty dark and spooky, isn't it? Makes you wanna cry, doesn't it? Gonna cry? Gonna piss your pants? Maybe, ch you know what, I don't think we should continue with that joke. Pretty sure everyone knows the punchline anyway. What? You're not scared? Well, good, neither am I. So, uh, let's go. Come on. Ah, uh, no! Spooky ghosts! I just double-killed that ghost. It was already dead, but now it's even more dead. Hey! That was a significant portion of my rupees. It's such a shame my wallet was nearly full anyway. Oh, I can't jump down to Tingle there, or one of the Tingle brothers to do that kinstone piece. Oh well. Okay, it's a little dark here. Luckily, I have the power of the flame lantern. Oh. I could go up, left, or right. Sounds like Lost Woods to me. 
This one says up, though. Uh, another sign? Left. Okay. How convenient that someone left these signs for getting through the Lost Woods. Normally it's more difficult than that. Same as before is left again. Same as the beginning is up. So it was up, left, left, up. Right. Up, left, left, up, right. Same as two before. So up, left, left, up, right. Right, up is where it was. So, uh, up, left, left, up, right, up. Oh, I was expecting that to go on a lot longer than it did. What the? Please don't do that to me ever again. I don't appreciate that. Only close personal partners are allowed to lick me in that way. I don't appreciate a ghost doing it. Also, I've never had a close personal partner to lit. well, guess that's not true, I have had partners in the past, but never someone who straight up licked me. That was just a comedic bit, as they say. Um, need, need a key to pass forward. Oh, hello. Dampe? My name's Dampe. I'm the grave digger here. What's that? You were called here by the ghost of a king? That'd be the ancient king of Hyrule who rests here. I've seen him myself. Well, if the king has called you, can't see any reason not to let you in. Here, take the graveyard key. Thanks, Dampe. Normally you're more cowardly than that. Can never be that simple, can it? What was with that crow? He, he took our key! Charge after him and get it! We'll, we'll do as, as though. What? Dampe, what are you doing out here? Weren't you... Weren't you just in your house? What? Okay. There's that key. Hmm... I see. Well... They did say charge after it and get him and get the key back. So if he's just going to run away whenever I get close... Oop. Sword and Pegasus boots. And I missed the tree. I... I scuffed off of it. But I got that one. Got the graveyard key back. Yeah, and now you can get into the graveyard. I sure can, as low. And, uh, open. Do I really need to be able to see? Open door. I'll open the gate for you. Be careful in there. Don't know why I had to talk to Dampe to do it when I'm the one who had the key on me. Can I not push any of the graves open? I mean, that seems like a classic Zelda thing to do. Maybe this friendly ghost here has something to say about this puzzle. Oh, I'll also fuse kinstones with you. Spookta. What a name. Spookta. Ah. This guy... Hey, I've just hit on a great idea! This will add a little more risk. <laughs> I'm so excited, can't wait to get started. What, did I just add a hard mode to that guy's minigame that I haven't been able to play? 
Okay, uh, anyway, what are you doing here? This is a graveyard! There are ghosts here! Oh yeah, speaking of which, my brother who lives in Hyrule Town is a troublesome prankster, but I often wonder how he's doing. That didn't tell me anything. Hmm, three buttons that need to be pressed and... No way to press them. Can't read the king's grave there. Come on now. I knew it. One of the graves had to open at least. And I'll need three of me. And push block aside. Peace of heart. Hooray. But there's got to be other openable ones. Ones that'd make a pattern for my four sword to... Oh, it's not technically the four sword yet, is it? It's not gonna count as that until it's fully upgraded, I think. But point is... Yes, a white sword, three elements. Oh, it, it's... Is it these rocks? It's the rocks. I should have known. Yep, and those are the three I need. Also, I forgot I can just slice rocks apart due to one of my sword upgrades. Oh, but... Getting up there is gonna be the tricky part, because, oh, because of how the graves work. But I should be able to slip through there a little bit faster now that I know what I'm doing. Go up through it myself, and then across and up, and there we go. King's grave opened. The royal crypt, in fact. It may be the royal crypt, but graves are creepy no matter whose they are. Where are we supposed to meet this King Gustav anyway? I am not so sure I even want to anymore. Can we just go somewhere less creepy? No, Eslo, we cannot. Ah, uh, 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 okay, Gibdo. Noted. You are very, very grabby, and you do not catch fire, like some of your later and your earlier counterparts. Ugh. That was a lot of hearts lost to that. Dun, dun. Also, it's the Zelda 1 dungeon music in here. Oops. Okay, I'm really underestimating that. Fine, I'll grab it manually, since apparently standing as far back as I could and using the gust jar still dropped me short. What? Ow. I see. Ocarina of Time style fake doors. Two locked blocks. Haven't seen those in a while. When was the last time I saw a locked block? Was it Link's Awakening or Link to the Past? Probably Link's Awakening if I had to guess. Ah, I see. I'm gonna have to make clones to get on these buttons and maneuver around on that moving platform. Perfect timing. I'll wait for that to come back. 
Ooh. One K get. And that even made the Zelda one K dropping sound, not the usual da na 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 for a puzzle being solved. This really is, uh... They really decided to go with a big Zelda 1 aesthetic for this royal crypt, which is weird considering this comes earlier in the timeline than Zelda 1. Oh, my ghosts die to the spike trap too. Or my clones die to the spike trap as well. Noted. So I've got to be careful about that. Huh. Well, I'm loving this for multiple reasons, but also... I am so nearly dead, it is hard to love this. I, I love the references to those earlier games, but, or, well it is Zelda 1 specifically, not multiple early games, but, ah, nope. Ow. Oh god, and the torches shooting fireballs too. Of course they had to throw that on top of everything. But I'm fine. I made it. Let me just shatter all these pots that are in a Triforce pattern, because of course they are. Courage, wisdom, and power, all of which are just ways to get rupees, apparently. Hello? It, it is me. Hi, I'm Link, hero of Hyrule, I guess. Oh, young one. Child who seeks to rescue my descendant Zelda. Welcome. My name is Gustav. I was king of Hyrule countless ages ago. I grant to you this kinstone. Seek the source of the flow in Hyrule. Only then will your path open. Save Zelda. All of Hyrule is counting on you. You got a kinstone piece! Yep, I sure did. Hmm, fascinating. An ancient king of Hyrule? How strange. And the source of the flow? What do you suppose that could mean? Well, if I were to hazard a guess, I would say the veil falls. After all, that appears to be the source of water that flows into Lake Hylia, and the rivers that run through the rest of Hyrule. And I suppose I have time to go and do that now. Well, uh, I don't think this is the way to Vale Falls, and I really should have thought before opening that chest. But maybe looping around. <laughs> nice try. I'm not opening that one. Just in case it's more rupees. Uh, but it could be mysterious shells, and uh, I did kind of spend all of mine. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Regardless, this does not appear to be progress. Well,. I am here at Vale Falls, and before I do anything, I'm grabbing a piece of heart. Ah, 
feels good to have health again. Ow. I did not dive in time. All right. I feel like I checked that big stone door earlier. And, uh, thanks for knocking me into the water. Can you not? Can you not just literally block my path? You know what? You're gonna get killed. I'm actually going to use my gust jar on you. Wait, what do you mean the gust jar doesn't work on these ones? Kinstone for the door. It's the one of a kind crown one. The source of the flow. Literally the name of the door. Great. Let me out. Stone door! This is what they meant by all that source of the flow business. The waterfall, yada yada, King Gustav has implied this is where our last element is. Yeah, huh? Just through this cave full of keys. Mean. Nothing too bad so far. There is, uh bit of an anti-fairy, or normal bubble, maybe, going on. Oh. Instant death. But what about this? Two rocks? It's gotta be a... Ah, <laughs> uh, The pure gamer instinct. Fifty mysterious shells, hey. That pays me back one of those 50-50 chances I rolled. Um, but is this where I needed to go? Have I accidentally figured out plot progression, or is all of this for a piece of heart or something? It's a little hard to tell sometimes. But with three of me, we're gonna find out. Uh, another hundred mysterious shells. All of this for a hundred mysterious shells. Um. Huh? What? Excuse me? Ha. It. it is the way out meant to be a bit more obvious? Uh, okay. Gotcha. I only need a one block wide passageway to fit all three of me through. And back down. And... Out the door we go. Now we're all the way up on top of the mountain. Except not really at the top of it. We need to do some rock climbing first. No boulders falling? Hmm. I expected worse of you, game. Although there is another stone holder of secret powers, the, the wind, wind crest teleport up here, you can now do that. Mm hmm. Well, there's obvious bombable wall to the right. So I don't expect that to be super important. Could have been a lot more hidden. Man, there are several ways to go from here. I'm really just in a maze in this mountain. Another 50 shells paying me back. Another of the two 50-50 chances I rolled. Okay. Uh, this brings me into here. Um... 100 rupees. How exciting. 
Or I'm sure it would be if my wallet weren't full. Um... Uh, Veil Springs, that looks like the top of a very big Goron's head. And that sound effect tells me, yes, that is in fact a big Goron. But I'll get back to him after I check. There was a downstairs door here. That's a ruby like in the middle. It's not. The second one it is, for sure. Yeah! <laughs> I know a trap when I see one. This brings me to water. Which will take me... a whole lot of nowhere. At least, for now. I have a funny feeling some secret way or something is gonna open up there. Because why would you include that patch of water to swim in if it wasn't going to be for anything? Hello, big Goron. Am I actually capable of talking to you? Doesn't appear I am. Well, guess Big Goron doesn't exist. What have we here? Some kind of vortex? Well, we seem to have hit a dead end. What shall we do from here? Uh, jump in the mysterious vortex? Obviously. But first... Goron... Hello? I, I see you there, buddy. Oh, I can't throw that over that edge. You know what, that's on me for trying to bomb Big Goron. Well, up we go. Cloud Tops. Am I still alive? Link, what were you thinking, child? You just reaped the whirlwind, as they say. We could be dead right now. But I must admit, it did the trick. Are we in the land above the clouds? Then there must be something here that can lead us to the final element. Let's go find it. Why, you surprised me. Normally surface dwellers can't walk on the clouds like we do. My sister and I went to the Picori Festival in Hyrule Town, and when we came back, there were monsters everywhere. But if I could fuse kin stones, I could Call a good homeward wind. I see. Well, I I do in fact have kinstones. I might have one for you. I do. You're welcome, Haley. Uh, that's that's a golden tektide. That. Okay, that does not help do the thing that you wanted to do. Which was to draw a whirlwind or something. Can't just jar that. Sorry, did I skip something important in your text? Well, can't find out now. Oh, you have a uh, kinstone. Oh, the big, the big golden kinstone is a separate. Why is it a different shape than it very visibly is on the map? Sure, I'll try fusing kinstones with you. I, I scrolled one too far by holding the stick. Sorry, Gale. Um, that explains that. Secret passage behind the waterfall. Uh, although, I am going to need a golden kinstone there. Oh, red whirlwind 
sent me up a level again. Hmm. I see. And that's a gold kinstone piece. Probably the one that fits the, uh... Okay, that's a sky shark. Glad to know those exist. But, uh... Kinstone probably fits the thing I just passed over here. Or at least another similar thing. Uh... Yep. That... Oh, I see. One's got diagonal edges. Inside the... I guess, teeth of it? Uh, point is... I will continue in the clouds in the next episode. Bye.